That is a buck. Hello everyone and welcome back to APN Gaming and the beautiful Hunter Call of the Wild. And we are back here with another episode and we got to get caught up here. So we have a perk point that we gained from last episode. I noticed it by having watched it back that we need to put on. So I want to take a look at these and really increased ready speed after firing for all weapons. Eh, that's a decent one, one that we'll probably get eventually. Uh, decreased heart rate penalty from exhaling while reduces the cooldown until breath can be held again. Okay, I think I'm going to do that one, but decrease wobble when in aiming mode. Decrease wobble when in aim mode using any weapon. I really want to uh, focus on what helps all weapons instead of, you know, what helps, you know, specific weapons. Reload all weapons while running. That one's kind of a benefit for all weapons. Um... Decreased edge blur when using shotguns with irons. Okay, so this is just shotguns. That's one we're going to avoid. Archery. Increases the time an arrow can be drawn in aim mode before fatigue sets in. That one's decent, and we do use archery a lot, but I still don't think we're going to put that on there. So, right now, uh, increase rider speed after firing for all weapons. I think we are going to... Okay, I think we're going to do this one. I think that makes the most sense for right now. Our missions, what are we going to be working on for these ones? Well, we can get coyotes, but I don't think we're going to do that one yet. We can try to photograph black bears, which we might try to do in conjunction. Uh, and this is harvest a male white-tailed deer and earn a quick kill bonus of 100. Harvest a male black-tailed deer and earn a quick kill bonus of 50 or higher. Okay, so we need a black tail and a white tail to complete both of these. Now, do these have to be done in a specific spot? No, which is good. Um, let me double check, make sure this one does not as well. No. So the only one that does is the Lake Chila with getting the coyotes. So we need a black tail and a white tail, and as long as we use... Let me see, what do we have in our inventory? We have the 30-06 and the bow. So I think we'll stick with that. We have 9 arrows, 16 bullets. I think we're going to stick with just what we have for this episode. So we need a white tail and a black tail. And we need to get at least 100 on the white tail, 50 on the black tail. So what do we have for need zones in the area that we can try to use, utilize as well? That's jackrabbit. What about this one? Jackrabbit, Jackrabbit, both of those are Jackrabbit. Moose. Uh, what's up here? Moose. White-tailed deer, 15 to 21. Okay, that's a little bit later than we wanted to go. White-tailed, 05 to 930. That one's possible. Is there a black tail close by? Nope. But that's all right. We can... What's over here? Black tail deer, 13 to 17, 13 to 17. Okay, so with that being said, let's, um, we still haven't ventured over to this side, but this river right here is really nice to go. So what we're going to do, and I think we're going to fast travel down to this spot. Let me see, what is this one? This moves, okay. We'll hit this spot, head up here towards... The white tailed deer and see if we can get one of those. We have to get a hundred quick kill on it, which I think will be pretty easy to do.
Whew. Let's hope we got a good shot on that dude. That came out of nowhere. I had a good front shot to him, hopefully. Oh, very small blood mark though. It was a level three. I would doubt very much that he goes down. Ooh, spot, what is that? Trivia. Ooh, is that our level three again? That's the long shot, but doable. I think I hit it that time. That one's probably a little better shot than what our previous one was. There's a bear track. Oh, maybe our... Nope, that is, that's bear right there. That quite possibly could have been the same moose. I'm not really sure, though. Let's get over here to the tracks and see. That's a female. That's the bear. Oh, there's blood. There's more blood. I want to see if I actually did hit him that second time, though. It would have been off in here somewhere. This would have been where it was, somewhere up in here. I believe where I would have hit him the second time. Lead rate's low, but I think we probably got him this time. This is like jackpot. Seriously, jackpot. I cannot believe this. There's got to be a dozen deer or better here. 228 yards, a little too far. That one kind of looks bigger, but it's not, I don't think. Oh my god, there's so many deer up here. They're all just laying out, just relaxing. Let me see. 184 yards. That one right there. The rack on that one in front of that one. 
just looks that much better. Although that one right there doesn't look bad. Let me see if I can even get them in the bead. Oh, I could. Confidently, though, that's the problem. All right, so they switched need zones. One was a rest. That ran out about two minutes ago. Then they go over here to a drinking zone. I'm gonna try to get within 150 yards. If I can do that, then I can confidently try to take a shot on one of these guys. I need to get a 100% quick kill. I'm debating on, do I go for a long shot? Or the headshot to know that I get the uh, the quick kill. These are all level two miners. So like that one right there. Ooh, that is not a good shot. It just isn't. I'm gonna try to creep around. Their drinking zone must have just started. So if we can coop around and get closer to them, then we can take them out. The wind's in our favor. I think we're gonna get somewhere with this one. I'm gonna try to hug the water line. Try to stay on the water line. See if we can get a real good shot on one of these. Thing is, if I fire now, it's gonna drive them all the way. I'm not confident on a shot, then we're gonna have to try to get another placement for another 100% quick kill on one of these white tail. Now, I don't want to go for a headshot, just because that pretty much ruins your trophy rating if it is something decent. But judging that these two are both twos, or all the males that I spotted were twos and minors, the, what we're, we're not really missing out on much, so if I can take the headshot to get the 100% quick kill, I think it's smart to do to complete our mission. Obviously, if I can get another lung shot on a different one while they're fleeing, then can preserve that one, but it's got to be a male. Okay, I'm going to try to get some high ground right here. Pull out the binox and see if I can get a read on where they are compared to me now. If I can get a good shot from here, this might be a, a good place to take it from. I'm worried that when I go into a crouching position that I'm not going to be camoed though. It shows that I am. But Okay, let's see. They're all right in here. Can I call one out to me, maybe? Yeah, completely camouflaged right here. Let's try it. What can it hurt? Nope, none of them are coming my way. Okay, we're in the middle of this tree. I'm gonna try to stand up and do a crouch. problem is I don't have a clear sight line to them. I know that they're over there somewhere. 
I don't see any, but we're gonna try to call one into this open area. The wind is still in our favor. I hear some moving. I think this is close enough range for a bow. We gotta wait for a buck. That is a buck. Got a quick kill on him. I don't think we got another one, but that's okay. I had to go for the headshot on him just because I wanted to make sure that we got the quick kill on this. And we definitely did. We definitely got a quick kill on it. There we go. So, with that being said, that is that mission done. Okay. Well, can we chase these guys down? Because <laughs> that would be nice if we can get those other two males at 154 pounds each. Oh, it looks like they're across the water. Let's attach our sight and see if we can get them to just stop momentarily enough for us to take out at least one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Buckled him over. Don't know if we got the second one. That was kind of a, a really quick shot. Let's reload. That one we buckled right over, so hopefully that's enough weight. If it is, then we'll be doing pretty good. Oh, come on. This water is not that deep. There we go. Let's see what this one's weight is. Let's see if this even counts as one. If it does, then we might go after the rest of the herd to try to get the second one. But... This one, we must have got a perfect shot because it literally dropped. Oh, yeah, and that's a gold, too. Dang. Honestly, the other one that we shot was probably a gold, too. But we got a right lung and a heart. That's a perfect shot. And we might actually save this one. It's only three grand to taxidermize. We'll taxidermize it now. Common to minor... Oh, and it does count as one for the weight. Now, did we only have to have one? I thought we had to have two. Oh, dang. We did only have to have one. 164 yards. Is there any deer down there? Because that would be nice if we could get the 164 yards one. Get them to come back in. There's one. hit him might have hit another one uh one's down i know that whether i hit the other one or not i don't know there's one in the water right there Oh, the breathing thing. Uh, and my heart rate's up, so... It's okay. Let's go collect this one. See if I hit the other one. This one, it looks like it dropped fairly quick. Oh, yeah. The one I saw right in the front right there. Blood out. He's down. Let me see. Hopefully, I didn't shoot the same one again. No, I didn't. This is a right lung. Silver. And it looks like we have an... Oh, yeah, this one's going to be down, too. 
This one's a good blood spot. Yeah, he's down right in the graph. So that's three of them close to session. And this one's another male, and it's a silver. Nice. I don't think we actually got the mission because that was definitely within a for, uh, closer than 164 yards, but... I'd say that's pretty successful. Three males within close succession. We finished two missions right back to back. I'd say that's a pretty successful episode. Thank you guys so much for watching here the APN Gaming YouTube channel. The Hunter Call of the Wild. Things are picking up big. We unlocked some new hunting territory. Completed two missions. So I think we are moving along quite nicely actually. Of course, I'm way farther ahead on my personal play, but that's okay. We might end up switching to my personal play account at some point, but right now I kind of like this playthrough setup, and we have multiple more maps that we could choose from to continue to play and play through some of these uh, story modes. So thank you guys so much for joining me. We will see you guys next time right here on APN Gaming. Leave a like down below, comment Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you have not already. What are you waiting for? This is good content, I think. You be the judge of that. Hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying it. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next time.